Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 4D notes on problem solving. So uh, by the end of this, you should be able to use the Pythagorean theorem and its converse to solve real-world type problems. All right. So uh, let's jump straight into an example, and that will be example 11 from page 95. And it says a rectangular slab of spam is three meters wide and has a 3.5 meter diagonal. How high is the slab of spam? All right, so if you don't know what spam is, you uh, need to ask your parents because they will probably know. Um, so let's, let's start this thing off by drawing a picture of our spam. All right, so it's rectangular. So let's try to draw a rectangle. You know, let's be more, I really should be a little bit more accurate. Bam really is more pink. I know that's not quite a rectangle, but you get the idea. So it is, <clears throat> excuse me, three meters wide and has a 3.5 meter diagonal. How high is the slab of spam? Okay, so let's see. I guess if we're going to go three meters wide, let's do, let's put our three meters over here. All right, so then we're trying to figure out what this is here. Since it says it's rectangular, we know that all these angles are right angles. And for what we need, we want this angle here to be a right angle. So with that, let's just use our Pythagorean theorem to see if see what we get for this last side here. So got a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Again the important one is this 3.5 needs to be our c squared. So over here we can have 3 squared plus I guess we can just leave that as b squared or you can put question mark or x whatever you want equals 3.5 squared. Alright so that gives us 9 plus b squared equals, let's see what 3.5 squared is. Gives us 12.25. Okay. And so now we'll want to subtract 9 from both sides so that we can get our b squared all by itself. So we get 12.25 minus 9 gives us 3.25. And then our last step would just be to square root both sides so that we get b equals the square root of 3.25 or again a little bit more satisfying let's actually calculate what it is so 3.2 oops let's see we have to do the square root of 3.25 1.80 it looks like and this was all in meters so it's going to be 1.80 meters. All right. So that is example 11. Let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at example 12. Okay. So example 12 is from page 97. And this one says find the total length of metal to make 15,000 right angle brackets like this one shown here. Alright, so if we need to find the total length of metal, we need to find out what all three of these metal pieces are, right? How long they all are. And now, if you'll notice, we don't know what this is right here. This length is here. We are, uh, let's see, do we? Oh no, we do know that one. That one's 18 centimeters. What we don't know is this diagonal piece right here. That's what we want to figure out, right? So we know that's 30 for this piece down here. So we know that that's good. And we know that it is 18 centimeters tall. So we know that that's another piece of metal that we need. So again, we just need to calculate this one. So again, thankfully, it's a right angle right there. So we just need to calculate what this side is here because it's not the full 18 centimeters, it's 18 minus 4, which gives us 14 centimeters. So that's what this is right here. 
And then this piece right here is our 30 centimeters. And we're going to subtract off the 4 from that side and the 6 from the other side, which gives us 20 centimeters. All right? So this 20 centimeters is what this length right here is. So if we redraw that, we have that this is 14 and this is 20. And that's a right angle, and we're trying to figure out what that is. So let's just go back to, <coughs> excuse me, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? So we got 14 squared plus 20 squared equals c squared. So let's check here. 14 squared is 196 plus 400 is c squared. So that's what? 596 equals c squared. So then we take the square root of both of those and that's 596, and we take the square root of that, and we get that this length here is 24. Let's go with 24.4 centimeters. All right, so again, now we know that this piece here, now we know this piece here is 24.4 centimeters. Okay, so the total metal to make one bracket is going to be 24.4 plus the 30 down here plus the 18 right here. Alright, so let's see if we add that all up. 24.4 plus 30 plus 18 gives us, we need 72. 0.4 centimeters per bracket, right? So now the thing is we need uh, 15,000 of those brackets, right? So we got to take that and multiply our 72.4 times 15,000. So we already got our 72.4 in there, so multiply it by 15,000, and we get 100 and I think, what was it, 108? 108, So that would be 1,086,000 centimeters of metal, or whatever that's made of. Yeah, it's a metal. So, 108, sorry, 1,086,000 1, centimeters of metal needed to make all those brackets. All right? Okay. Well, that's uh, all there is for this. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.